one generation to the next. Sorry, that means turn page. <laughs> Universal symbol for turning page. I ask in chapter two, can this be true of breeds in nature? And I conclude that it's no more than a question of nomenclature. The words breeds, species, genus, and many constructs have been imposed. When in actual fact, the situation only resembles more of a small gradation ongoing and unopposed. Are you all with me so far? Good, I'll speed up. In chapter three, I look specifically at the struggle for survival, the way that every living thing was always battle with its rival. For all the worst it happened, makes five that was used to all the strongest, luckiest, healthiest, pluckiest individuals will survive and reproduce. How? <laughs> I'm thinking of giving a name to that particular part of my theory, something catchy like Survival of the Toughest. No. Survival of those most likely to survive. <laughs> That's a repetitive tautology. And so was that. Survival of the Survival of the Fittest! Chapter 4 is really the core. I've called it natural selection, and then it describes the way that nature puts my theory into action. The species diverge rather like the branches of a tree. The branches that grows will then divide the ones that don't fall by the side. And every branch is different to a greater or lesser degree. You see? He's nicked it! <laughs> Bit of trouble with my G string now. <laughs> You never thought you'd hear the great Charles Darwin saying that, did you? <laughs> and it's about the C, but it's in A. <laughs> After we left the Galapagos Isles, wildlife to its own devices, we set sail in our survey ship once more to where a distant shore entices. The island of Tahiti was our next call of duty, with its forests and famous black beaches. And I went to see the sights from the rather dizzy heights that it's found on a greener reaches. And I said, what a truly magnificent view. It's idyllic. Idyllic in it. If only How about you? Would you care to win it too? The islands of New Zealand had their own appeal to the native Maori were charming. The landscape was amazing, fields ideal for grazing. I recommend more cattle farming. Next was Australia Beckham, more bizarre than I'd reckoned. With its wildlife quite extraordinary. The kangaroo, emu, and platypus displaying their habits and traits quite contrary. And I said, What a truly magnificent, idyllic place! Idyllic in it, and so should all of the Cause I did it with you And how about you? 